ischemic heart disease or coronary artery disease happens when one of the arteries that supplies the blood flow to the heart muscle uh, is blocked. Um, there's really two main types of ischemic heart disease. One is having an acute heart attack or an acute myocardial infarction. And that occurs when the blood flow to the heart is blocked off suddenly and you have an occluded artery. Um, as an interventional cardiologist, that is really a big part of what I do. Now, whereas an ST elevation MI happens when the vessel is totally blocked, um, chronic ischemic heart disease is kind of the definition we give um, when people have vessels that aren't completely blocked but can still give you symptoms. If you're having chest pain and you come to the hospital, which you should do if you are having chest pain, and it looks like you're having a heart attack, uh, our job is to take care of you as quickly and effectively as possible. Um, for me, that's really probably the most exciting thing about what I do. It can happen at 2 in the morning, but um, you really feel like you're making a difference because you're uh, really trying to save somebody's life when they're having a heart attack. Uh, so here at Tacoma General, we have a 24-7 uh, cardiac catheterization laboratory. Uh, the same goes for Good Samaritan and Multicare Auburn Medical Center. You hear a lot about uh, door to balloon time, which essentially means the time from when you hit the emergency room door to when we get that vessel open in the, cath in the catheterization laboratory. Um, so the nationwide goal is less than 90 minutes. We certainly strive for that. Um, we, our goal is to get it done in less than 60 minutes if possible. And again, the reason time is of the essence is because the longer that artery is blocked, the more likely you are to have permanent damage to your heart and the more likely you are to have uh, dangerous outcomes and potentially die. Our EMS works closely with us and they can actually call a heart attack in the field before they even get to the hospital. It's called a pre-hospital activation. So if they, if they see someone at their home and they have an EKG that says they're having an ST elevation MI, uh, our EMS providers will call the ER and get the ball rolling so we're, we're that much more prepared when the patient gets here. Really one of the most important things in preventing cardiac disease or, or preventing a recurrence of cardiac disease is lifestyle. We're specialists. We, we treat the cardiovascular disease when it's established and when we know patients have cardiovascular disease. Um, but it really begins uh, with the primary care physician. They are integral in, one, identifying people who have heart disease or have symptoms of heart disease. That's how they get to us usually. And two is treating them for their other medical conditions that can lead to heart disease. I think all of us went into medicine to help people. We get a chance to do that every day. Uh, and that's I think, makes it worthwhile. Mm -hmm.